I had to make sure that I looked presentable for this next word change because I'm going to be talking about a group of people that uh, I definitely want to look good in front of and that are very important to me personally. Um, however, they are not a defined group of people as of yet until I finish up this video and we have a word for that group of human beings on the planet. And I wanted to have a word to define these people. I mean, obviously they can be more than just the word, but uh, just to categorize them and make things effective. And the group of people that I want to talk about is extremely tall, gorgeous women, which I would have to say would have to be my favorite people on the planet, at least to look at, because uh, obviously I, I like girls and I am a person who really likes tall girls. Um, most people would be like very adverse to dating a girl that's taller than them or anything like that. Uh, I don't think I'm one of those people. I really don't. I don't think I would limit myself to that, but I'm also a tall human being. I mean, I'm 6'2", so I'm not a short guy. Like there's not a, there's not many women out there that are taller than me that I actually see. So when you come across one, it's rare. And then the breed that I'm talking about is an even rarer breed when they're very attractive at this height. And that's the group of people I want to categorize or just have a nice word that I can throw out so you know exactly who I'm talking about and what group of people I'm referring to. And so the word that I came up with to describe these women, it's, it's a goofy one. Um, it's bonitian. And bonitian is the combination of two, kind of three words. And the first one is actually not even an English word. It's a Spanish word, bonita, which just means, is it beautiful? I think it's beautiful. Beautiful or pretty, basically one of those. And so we've got that as the core of the word. And the second part of it that I originally thought of, uh, it's like describing these girls is like a pretty Paul Bunyan. So it's the end of Bunyan from Paul Bunyan is a bonitian. And I mean, it also kind of works because... It also has the sound of like giant without the T at the end. So bonitian, it, it kind of incorporates the word giant a little bit. And so that's like the origin story of how I got to bonitian. It's uh, a gorgeous girl built like Paul Bunyan. <laughs> and I'm not saying that they all have to be like muscular or anything like that. That's not going to be a requirement. It's, gonna, it's more of a height baseline that I'm going to categorize people as bonitians on. And most girls that are like over six foot are usually like not super skinny anyway. So it's probably going to be fairly appropriate, I guess. Um, and I do think that the cutoff that I'm going to make for bonitians is going to be six foot. It's only girls that are six foot or taller that will be considered as a bonitian. And the reasoning for that is there are tons of girls that are tall from like i'd say 5 7 to 5 11 is tall for a girl right and there are probably hundreds of millions of girls in that height range that are attractive and awesome and i don't want to detract from those women whatsoever but if you are six foot or taller as a person i mean that's just tall percentage wise regardless but as a woman if you're six foot or over it's percentile wise pretty rare so that was going to be my cutoff for someone to be considered a Bonitian. Again, not taking anything away from any of the other ladies, because as you'll hear in the song of the day, I'm like Eminem, I appreciate Black girls, white girls, skinny girls, fat girls, tall girls, small girls, I'm calling all girls. But for me personally, I do appreciate a tall woman. It is something I like. And I felt like having a word for those that are really at that top level uh, having a word for that I thought was good, especially when I can do something just goofy as hell to it, like say that they're a pretty Paul Bunyan. Um, that's really not supposed to be demeaning at all. Like, I think these girls are great. And real quick, I'm going to give you an example of like the prime Bonitian right now, I think, or at least one that comes to mind very readily for me. And that would be Candace Parker. Candace Parker is a WNBA player, very beautiful. She'll also be in the video of the day, so I kind of had those planned out. She's 6'4", but just a great looking gal. She also knows basketball extremely well. She's a great speaker, awesome personality. You see her in like Inside the NBA on TNT. I watch that show all the time and she makes appearances on there. She's great. And I was gonna say, unfortunately, she plays for the wrong team, 
because I do believe she's a lesbian. But honestly, I don't even think that's the wrong team. Like, I'd, I'll probably make a video about this later on, but I think that women are objectively more attractive as a sex than men. But, I mean, that's a topic for another video. But yeah, Candace is into women. I believe she's just having a child soon with her partner, so congrats to Candace. But she is kind of the primary example, I think, of a Bonitian. And this is by no means my primary reason for liking Bonitians and seeing the potential in them. But there is also the factor of, I mean, your children. Because people are always saying, oh, I'm trying to make D1 babies, and I just kind of scoff at those people. Because I'm like, uh, my kid's going to make it to the league, and that's the goal. And I mean, if you secure a Bonitian, those chances skyrocket for sure. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm usually more ambitious than most, so when I hear the D1 babies, that's the main goal. I'm just like, God. yeah, I'm shooting higher. And now that I have created this group, if any Bonitians want to just like show appreciation to me for giving them the title or just, you know, helping them understand themselves, I reach out to me anytime, truly. I'll be here for you. But I figured this word change would also be good to get out before Valentine's Day, and we'll probably continue to try to get some word changes and additions around the Valentine's Day theme pumped out there. But will I be able to top Bonition? I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'll, I'll do my best. Anyway, let's move on to the comment of the day, which again comes from Gavin. And he said, impressive creation slash change, holy whip. I think I've been love orbiting around the term goit between whippy thoughts and that fake fan who is literally in it only to fill his Bacania, K-Whip. I'm right on the cusp of becoming the quiet. But K Whip and Whippy Thoughts are always together, and I am a bit of an outsider. By no means do I see this as a negative. I feel our relationship is solid and definitely agree with the term love orbiting instead of that trash word something or whatever. Also true, you have been a good part of love orbiting in my life. And there's a lot in this comment from Gavin. I'm just going to focus on the love triangle between K-Whip, Whippy Thoughts, and Gavin. And all I gotta say, Gavin, is when someone just pumps out pure perfection every time they grace the internet, it's going to be hard to compete with. That doesn't mean you don't try, but I would say that those two people are pretty open-minded, and who knows, you could probably sneak on into their little love relationship relationship considering those horned up bastards but <laughs> if you don't want to stay in love orbit forever yeah it's it's gonna be hard to compete with k-whip k-whip uh he kills it you might even be on to something uh with the implication that he could possibly be sleeping with whippy thoughts i don't know regardless i enjoyed the comment we're gonna give you a 20 out of 23 moving on to the song of the day the song of the day is just lose it by eminem i basically picked this one out because it has the line about like loving all types of women and that's essentially why we chose this one. It's just a goofy, fun Eminem song, and there's not a whole lot else to really go off and talk about for this one. Video of the day is the one mentioned previously with Candace Parker on Inside the NBA, and it's Shaq saying he could shoot better than one for 13, and Candace like challenges him on this and makes him prove it, and Shaq throws up some hideous air balls. And like just everyone's dying and it's great. Oh, it was, that was oh, oh. There it is, catch out. Oh, hey. What's up, oh, six? No. Oh, I got it. Kenny, hit him while he's hot. Hey, put your helmet on. It's a double on Kenny. Put your helmet on. Out to Shaquille O'Neal. Put your helmet on. That's a pass. That's a pass. And another little side note, Gavin was talking about some frustration with K-Whip getting a lot of the shine. Uh, K-Whip also does have a comment on this video with like 600 likes on it almost, I think. Just kind of like out of nowhere, so I guess he even kills it on other channels, which who knows, it's just a weird phenomenon, I guess. But that's gonna do it for the Daily Do. Peace, who?